Do you want to stand for the truth and stand up for what's right? Go check out a couple pages. I want to throw a shout, shout out to uh, Caitlin Bennett, uh, Liberty Hangout, and Joel Patrick. Um, I ran across their pages uh, roughly about a month ago, um, and they've got some great content. Um, very ambitious, um, and they deserve all the support they can get. Uh, go check them out. They've got Facebook and YouTube pages, or Facebook pages and YouTube channels. Um, Caitlin Bennett at whew, Caitlin Bennett at Liberty Hangout and Joel Patrick. Uh, go check them out. Oh, and like and subscribe below. Tune in for more. It's Morris Goggins coming at you with another episode on Broad Horizons. Um, something I wasn't really planning on um, including in this channel, but I, with everything going on, um, I feel like it might be a hot topic, uh, granted that it is, um, really general, it, it is a hot topic, um, uh, and this does have to do with Prescott, um, seeing as it is nationwide, um, so there's a group of people, sorry, having trouble with my mount. So there's a group of people, um, rather large group of people in the Prescott area that are liberal um, Democrats, um, I call them demon rats, uh, that have, there's a group they have on Facebook called uh, Prescott Indivisible. And at first I'd seen it, I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know, it's the town of Prescott um, uniting and, and it's just a, it was a community page, um, and then come to find out, um, someone had, someone had, there was a guy that actually joined the page, um, and saw kind of their content and what they, what they talk about, and, uh, they posted some things regarding, um, the town of Prescott. Uh, which I'll show you in some pictures here um, throughout this this video. Um, with the intent, um, the plan that they've kind of put together to boycott um, businesses that support Donald Trump. Um, and they give off a list of uh, of names. Of businesses, um, and it's really it's kind of astounding to me because um, <laughs> they claim to be all about the people and um, supporting businesses and um, and and people's lives. Uh, but they're willing to destroy people's businesses or their reputation um, when they know really nothing about the people just solely based off the fact that they support Trump as president. And uh, it, this place, this town is still very much Republican, um, as I hope that it remains pretty confident that it'll remain rather, um, a rather red state, but, uh, especially with everything going on, this being a massive, um, one of the biggest election years of our time, they said that, they said that in 2016, but I think this, this year is really, um, is the epitome of, of election years, um, so stay tuned, I will show you the pictures and we'll come back to it. So you can see in that picture that I just brought up, um, it's the title uh, head of the page, of the Facebook page, um, Prescott Indivisible, and uh, it shows, on the cover photo, it shows what appears to be their values. Um, along with the name, um, 
and if you scroll through, you'll see um, anything and everything. Uh, in support of uh, Biden and Kamala Harris. Um, and right off the bat, you don't see the, the post that I'm going to be showing you with the <clears throat> list of businesses. Um, but it's out that if you look, um, if you actually just type up uh, Prescott Indivisible on Facebook, um, it shows a list of, like, before you actually click on the page itself, um, it shows, like, a list of different pages and posts, um, and, you know, that kind of drop down where it shows all the different posts that are, that are connected to that page and the different, um, community pages, uh, that are similar, um, that whole kind of list as you scroll down, at some point you'll get to where you'll see, um, you'll see one that, that shows um, what I'm about to show you. And there's actually even um, uh, another YouTube video uh, that a local um, business here in town, um, a gentleman, uh, uh, posted talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. And um, I'm not doing this to take away from him, obviously. I just kind of wanted to reiterate it um, and so that there's, you know, if there's another person, it's not just one person that's seeing this, um, and, and, uh, making it known, um, you'll see when you look at the list too, which I find astounding, um, is predominantly, at least with the list that you see, and if you actually go on the page and look at the members on the page, um, there's a page and there's like a, a group that you you know, to join, and if you look at the group, if you go and look at the, the members under the, the about information, it, you can actually access and see who's in the group, you'll see that most of the members are, um, retiree seniors, um, retirees, um, that age bracket, and the irony of it is that the businesses that they're boycotting, um, most of them, other than a couple, well, I mean, all of them, you know, they rely on, um, a couple of them, I think, are restaurants, well, you know, in, it's, one is, one is the Palace, right downtown, the Palace Saloon, um, one of the oldest bars in town, which, that boggles me too, I mean, it's one of the most well-known, it would never happen, but it's just one of the most well-known, popular places, the, the, you know, that Prescott's known for, um, with so much history, and they want to see it go out of business, um, along with all the businesses, like I said, that they rely on, um, and it, really, it speaks volumes for this community, I always say that actions speak louder than words, um, and in this instance, it's very particularly true, it's massive, massively, um, accurate, um, because, well, you know, it's not rioting and looting like you see in Seattle and in other metropolitan areas of the like. Um, it's still, it's, it's like a, it's a passive form of attacking the businesses. Um, the difference being there's no damage. Uh, but they're still actively seeking to, through, through putting it out on social media, wanting to see these businesses fail and shut down. And, um, you know, for people that are considering moving here or in the process of moving here and, and don't know about this, what I'm talking about, um, this just gives you a perspective of the people, you know, these people that, that, um, that are liberal, that are voting like this and that are, that ha that are on this page that are promoting, uh, the, the action to see local businesses shut down, um, are going to be your neighbors and, and people you run across on the street. And that's truly sad. That doesn't speak very well of this community when you have people boycotting businesses because they support Donald Trump. Um, so I just kind of wanted to put it out there and, uh, highlight the issue. It's been mentioned before. 
but um, I think with this being such a large, large election year and so massively important, um, this really needs to be addressed and to make sure you understand your vote does count. We cannot afford to let Arizona go blue. Check you later. If you like and subscribe below and let me know what you think in the comments. Bye. You know, they always, you hear people say, and I've, I've heard people say in this town specifically, it couldn't happen in our town. And in fact, the people that have said that, well, they were sort of wrong. It just isn't happening the way that, uh, that it has happened in other places like Seattle, Detroit, um, Portland, um, it's happening in more of a passive manner. Um, and thank God it hasn't happened aggressively um, or you know, violently, but uh, it's just such a weird year this has been. 2020, and I never, ex I don't think anyone expected it to be this monumental. Um, and for I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that it's a total shock that people, there's such an upset, um, because there's some very, very eccentric, oddball people out there, um, that just happen to be buying the narrative and believing what they're told on media, um, and, and the news, CNN, Fox, uh, MSNBC, um, you know, promoting the democratic, um, basis, and if you go to, uh, as I mentioned, you'll see in the very beginning of this video, I mentioned a couple of YouTubers, um, they're awesome people, I love their content, um, and their enthusiasm, um, check them out, uh, Caitlin Bennett at Liberty Hangout and Joel Patrick, um, they are on point, so well articulated, and, um, they're really, they're, they're the highlight of future generations to come and what, what we need to, what future generations need to be, um, they really, Put down a solid point on on the direction we're going, and and how severe it is, and just how much we need to stand up and uh, vote for the betterment of society, um, and not be swayed by the democratic um, lies and manipulation. Uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people notice it, and there's people that see it, uh, but one thing that I've always really paid attention to and, and made sure, you know, that I pinpointed with everyone that I've noticed that are Democrat is that they're, they're controlled by their emotions, so much so that... Any little thing that they don't approve of, they blow up in in outrage. And as you might have heard, those people, the guys that were walking past me, they were talking about Wall Street um, wanting Biden to win. I actually haven't heard that, but that's that's an interesting. I should have stopped them and asked them about that. Um, I'll have to look that up. Um, if anyone has any uh, has any details on that about Wall Street, um, if they've heard anything, let me know in the comments below. Uh, go to my Facebook page, uh, Broad Horizons. Uh, like like the page. Let me know. You know, post something. Let me know what you think. 
of my videos and um, like I said if you have any information regarding uh, Wall Street and and uh, their side of this whole election um, platform uh, let me know.